Da Vinci? I don't know that meme. Oh, well, we got a request for the banner to be us as them, so. Uh, is, wait, so is it like two himbo guys? Yeah, but I found out they're they're wrestlers. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know for who. Maybe for AEW. Right. But that's the that's their shtick, is that they're two like idiot himbos, I guess. That's awesome. I'm yeah, surprised yeah. that hasn't been done more often in the wrestling world, to be honest. Uh, I mean... In an official capacity. Yeah, yeah, because I would say maybe you could say Edge and Christian. I mean, I don't know a lot of wrestling, but Edge and Christian are, probably were closest to like being himbos after their vampire that, phase. You could probably argue that most wrestlers are himbos <laughs> before that was a thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just yeah they just made it their yeah. actual characters. Hulk Hogan, the old Hulk himbo. Hulk himbo. Spray paint the N word. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Episode 370, Hulk yes. Himbo. Yep, that's Hulk. what we're calling it. Hulk Himbo spray paints the N word. <laughs> himbo Hulk? Not himbo Hogan? Hmm. There's well, a joke. Uh, macho Himbo Man Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> macho Man Himbo Savage. Macho Man yeah. Randy Himbo. This is a good. This is a good podcast. That we'll we just, let's just keep doing this for two more hours. <laughs> uh, Dwayne the Himbo Johnson. Did you see that fucking post where it was fucking John the Dwayne Roxon? <laughs> yeah, and it looks like you're fucking... having a stroke. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I did see that, and it made me laugh pretty Fuck. hard. Oh man, we haven't done one of these in like three weeks. I don't think we've done one of these since the Hollow Live English stuff started. Oh yeah, but I don't give a shit about any of that. You don't care? Oh, f- I don't care about Japanese hollow live things. I don't care. But but you know, got me Corona. I don't know what Corona. Corona, the fucking the dog. Oh yeah, no, I don't, book him. I don't care. Yeah, that no, that's great. But I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't watch. Uh-huh. I don't watch Let's Players to begin with, except for only yeah, but plays. these. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say uh, no, but these aren't let's players. They're Japanese. They're anime. They're cartoon women. It's fine. I don't care. Why do you? Are you like uh, viscerally against the English ones? No, I like I like a bunch of them. Oh, all right. I watched a few of them. Well, I, I've only really seen uh, Amelia Watson, who's the detective, and uh, Ina. I forget her full fucking name because it's like Cthulhu esque, but she's like basically an octopus Cthulhu thing. But they're both very cute. There was a very wholesome moment where Ina, because she's also an artist, uh, was like she she started like actually getting sappy and crying on stream because she was like very happy that people started like picking up drawing as a hobby again because of her streams. And I'm like, oh, that's wholesome. That's sweet. So are you giving them money? Bitch. Pay piggy? I pay don't pig? know. I don't know. I don't know what they fucking get paid by you because you're a pay pig. I don't contribute to the super chats, no, because I'm not a huge sim. But I'll watch the highlights. Uh, I'll watch the highlights of their streams. You ain't sure, shrimping. Would... No, I ain't shrimping. <laughs> I think they say that too for the for the shark girl, because you know. Oh. <laughs> I don't really like the shark girl because her voice is way too high pitched. But other than that, like, you know, I didn't see the. I didn't watch the 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 phoenix yet. The chicken. And I also didn't watch the. I should watch the skeleton one, or what's her? I guess she's like the like Death's Apprentice or whatever. And I'm like, man, that's a great character design. It's too bad all she seems to do is review music. So I don't give a fuck. Because she's also a rapper. She's a Reaper rapper. Yeah, I stopped paying attention about five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm an adult now. I'm gonna be 36 in a few weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah. I've had heartburn since last Saturday. Yeah. Uh, How's that going? Not good. The future's now, old man. It is. Yeah. My, 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 I'm getting, I'm going to, and you know, the future is now because I'm going to buy a Bolt, a Chevy Bolt. A, a what? It's an electric <laughs> car. Oh, 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 you're getting in on the California gas ban early, huh? I want to huff my own farts. Oh, sweet. <laughs> No, I wanted. Be, I was thinking about cool. getting a Tesla, and I, and like my friend talked me out of it. He's like, "Don't become car poor." So then I looked up what car poor meant, and yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not aware of the term. That to pay off my car would would make me poor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, how how expensive for Teslas? Uh, 40, the whole point 40, was that forty to sixty grand. They're yeah, not that expensive. expensive. I mean, they're not crazy expensive, but a bolt. No, not is, like luxury car, but yeah, yeah a bolt is. Um, like t- ticket uh, sticker price is like thirty six to forty, but I've been seeing them for twenty four to twenty six. 
That's not bad. Well, when you try to come up here and your car dies halfway, no, so through, through the hour long drive, fucking let me know. No, that's the before. thing. Like this car could probably go for about four hours before it would need a new charge. Yeah. So yeah, no, it wouldn't do that. that now, see if I wanted to get the Chevy Spark, you would be a hundred percent correct. That car is eleven thousand uh, dollars new, eleven to thirteen thousand dollars new, but it is only the goes. Spark an electric car? You know, I thought that's like, it that's was like a the hybrid. Girl ver- that's the girl version of the car I have. Yeah, I thought it was a hybrid, but apparently it's an all electric car. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's basically like so. I have a Chevy Sonic, and the Spark is basically the girl version of that car. Yeah, Christina like has slightly... that the Mitsubishi whatever the hell, and that's basically your car too. Uh, I I don't know what hatchbacks they have. I forget the name of it. I can never remember. Mm. But yeah, uh, yeah. So to to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been too long, so I'm not sure. Like, and I talked to Kate about things, so I'm not sure what I talked to her about. Not on the last podcast. <laughs> yeah, um, I fucking. I was on vacation. That was fun. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. How, 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 why? Where'd you go? And why'd you go? And who'd you go? <laughs> Maryland, uh, just for fun. Uh, Corey and her dad. We were on like this little inlet lake house. What'd you right do on the Chesapeake? There. Oh, we just like hung out, watched TV, kayaked. We were worried it was going to be too cold to kayak, but thankfully, since it's like September, it was September, I should say. Uh, it's that kind of, it's that kind of cold where it's cold in the shade, but when you get in the sun, it's totally fine. It was definitely like that yesterday when I went out. It was, I was like, why is it so fucking hot outside? And then like when you get out of direct sunlight, you're like, ooh, burr. <laughs> dude, uh, dude, I, I turned my AC on in the car on the way to the comedy show yesterday, and then like when I got there. I had to run back to my car and get my fucking jacket because it was actually cold. What comedy show? The uh, the Legion of Skanks, or rather, it was Big J Okerson and Louis J Gomez. They came out to uh, Royersford because who, um, who are the Legion were... of Skanks? With the podcast, which is you don't know what a podcast is? No, I don't know what a podcast is. Why don't you tell uh, me? A podcast. A podcast is a is a thing that mainly, predominantly, white men in their thirties do. To it's the only place where they're still allowed to be racist and funny. So <laughs> what's a white man? Well, you see <laughs> <laughs> millions chosen, of years ago, <laughs> there were these chosen people that God came onto the earth himself. His seed dropped on the earth and a white man was what was born. And um, then he, he birthed a white woman and she fucked everything up for us. Oh, cool. yeah, no, that's true. Where no, was, was um, this in Philly? No, Royersford, which is like on the Schuylkill river, which I, it's not even out of like, it's not even in uh, Bucks County, which is where Philly is. It's in Berks County, which is like my home county. So, did, did you get? Did they get swept up into the riots? <laughs> no, um, but they a couple like in August they came. Uh, Big J came out to Royersford, Pennsylvania, to do a show at the same place, and I heard it on their show where like uh, he was fucking with some chick because some chick was like complaining in the front row, and he does a lot of crowd work, so she was like complaining that they were all Trump supporters, and he's like. Well, miss, I don't think we're all Trump supporters. I mean, Lewis is Puerto Rican, so that doesn't really fit the mo. And uh, she kept trying to basically like pull a gotcha on them, yeah, where she was just she was just like, "Yeah, well, I'm pregnant with a black baby." <laughs> Ooh, and he's like, "Well, I mean, that sounds like more like your, your father's. That sounds like your father's <laughs> nightmare more than mine." And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, I think it's she was like, "Yeah, I actually I'm not pregnant because I had." an abortion Ooh. Ooh. and he's like well excuse me miss i mean for as woke as you seem to be you're the only person here who's admitted to killing a black person and yeah. apparently she just like lost it and started screaming and left and then like her brother was drunk and came up and it's like that's my sister and like pulled him off the stage Jeez. so there was like so there was like an incident and so he came back to quote unquote the scene of the crime uh, to do a show and apparently it was a lot more people this time around because i guess last time there was only like 100 or so people but this time it was like packed there's like 400 fucking people but it was an outdoor venue like bring your own booze bring your own chairs some some dude sitting near me just brought a whole ass picnic table and like those fancy beer glasses that are shaped like a fucking uh like a pear with a top cut off where that sounds like, like a faggot i he i mean he looked like a faggot for sure <laughs> but and there was a guy sitting right in front of me that would not stop like repeating the punchline of the jokes while laughing. Oh, and, they, so he's that guy from uh, Oni Plays. But he looked like he looked like one of the Paul brothers. I took a picture and posted it to Twitter. And uh, oh, <laughs> Everett, Everett was like, "Is that one of the Paul brothers?" And I'm like, "I've been thinking that this entire time." <laughs> Maybe it was. He had the same shitty like blonde mop top haircut and the same like big dumb fucking nose. 
but uh, maybe, it was the, was, maybe it was the third brother. It could be. I mean, the show the show is good. I had a good time. It's been a while since I've done anything. <laughs> so, but uh, no, the Lake House. Uh, to get back to that, uh, I had a I had a TV with access to Disney Plus for the first time ever. So I watched an episode and a half of The Mandalorian. What did you not like it? No, I did. We just you know we just started watching other stuff. Um, but I, I liked what I saw of The Mandalorian so far. It is cool enough that I would subscribe let me put it this way i wouldn't subscribe to disney plus just for that show yeah. but if i had disney plus i would finish watching it um like if i had that verizon deal where they just gave it to you for free oh uh, yeah the, the, the new uh season starts on the 30th i think they yeah. release it weekly yeah um but i, I like my saw so far I, I really liked that first episode i like uh i guess it's nick nolte as that fucking weird gnome dude yeah who rides the things out in the desert i was like all right this is neat this is this is like everything star wars should have been from that new trilogy finishing but, uh, that and then thanks to jake finally watching clone wars and uh rebels uh, you know i i'm like why why didn't they just approach these writers to write the new movies i mean first of all it probably would have been the budget probably wouldn't have been as high now, i don't know well, actually, I, I can't say for sure because I mean, you can't. I can't tell how much something costs. Like the Mandalorian might have cost just as much as the fucking movies. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, but they would have looked maybe maybe just by the virtue of it being uh, like five times as long. How many episodes is the Mandalorian? Oh, fucking eight, ten, yeah, maybe. So like, yeah. so like four or five times as long as a Star Wars movie. Yeah, it might have actually cost that much. I should have said all the whole trilogy. I mean, it probably would have cost. Oh, okay, okay, but anyway. Uh, it's just, it's, it's like, it's heartbreaking how, I mean, I know I'm being dramatic, but it's like, it really is like heartbreaking how bad those movies ended up being and how good these shows are. Yeah. Now, well, don't get me wrong. Clone like... Wars starts out kind of shitty and Rebels starts out, I wouldn't say it starts out shitty, but the characters start out a little more annoying. Uh, but it all goes, they all end up in a good place. Like, and it, they're always worth watching. The only, the only other show I can't get into right now is like the newest one, which was uh resistance and that's because it it, it, sure. it involves the new stuff and i'm like man i really don't care right yeah so, i don't know it, it it could just be the factor that like i guess these tv shows don't have as much hollywood in them per se influence i guess yeah i don't know i, I, I don't know because I mean, if you watch there's the gonna behind, be some in there if you watch like the um well if you ever end up getting the Disney Plus, there's like a Mandalorian uh, roundtable discussion show with the writers and actors. Oh, okay. So and, is it is it like the roundtable show they did after Stranger Things season two, where the dean from Community was like, "Wasn't it great when you guys kissed?" And I'm just like, "Ew, stop!" Oh, can you believe it? There's gonna be a fourth season of that. You want to know how excited I am? Not at all. I didn't even finish season three. You shouldn't. Don't. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Again, I cannot think of a Netflix show that was any good past season one. Oh, they nah, don't, don't exist. Don't they know. straight up do not exist. Even the ones from like other countries like Japan, Agretzko season two is just season one again. Or rather, it starts off with a different idea that is interesting, but then they resolve that halfway through. And then the rest of the season two just ends like how season one ended. I'm like, well, what? The? Like, she's trying to find love and she doesn't know if it's right. And then she takes the guy to the karaoke bar and sings the metal. And then he's not sure. And I'm like, this is just how season one ended. <laughs> I don't. It doesn't have to be net, that. That's not necessarily Netflix. That's a lot of sh- just well, seasons, I know, just but shows like, in general. The problem is like, and when I say Netflix, I am, I am roping in all of these streaming services, original shows together because they're all trash. But not, not even like, that. Season- I mean, there's like shows I've watched that aired on TV that just weren't good after the first couple seasons or even the first mm-hmm. season. Yeah, I know, but it's like. The rule of TV, at least from what from shows that I've seen, is like season one is fine, and then usually they find their legs by season two, at least in a very good show. Like Community is a good example. So Community season one is fine, but season two is like great in comparison. I mean, like, yeah, that's like that's different. like uh, Rebels, like Clone Wars. Yeah. I kind of I kind of tuned out most of the first season because that's when Animal Crossing was out. So I was kind of wa- list- playing Animal Crossing while like sort of watching the first season because it really wasn't it- that good. It's like fucking Avatar The Last Airbender. Season one's all right, but then like seasons two and three are fucking great. And they really yeah, ramp that's... up like the tension and the, and the stakes. So yeah. Like, awesome. Yeah. A good TV show, I think, gets better over 
time. I think I, I I seriously cannot think of a Netflix show that is any good past season one, if if even at all. Yeah, but at least they get it right the way. first time. At least the first season will be good. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't watch a whole I, lot of like my my main issue right now with this stuff with these streaming shows is that the episode lengths are inconsistent and too long. Where I don't want to yeah. give a new show and uh, I don't want to give a new show a chance when the first episode's an hour and a half. That's what I mean. I've been I've been so critical of these shows that feel the need to fill an hour time slot because Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones were successful. It's like and especially just... because it's not like okay, I and before you know like you, I could give a movie a chance if it's an hour and a half because then the movie's over after that hour and a half. Yeah, but if exactly. I don't but... like this show after an hour and a half, I wasted an hour and a half, and I'm not going to keep watching. And another there's six still eight hours more hours of, yeah. of the ten hour movie. Left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's all they are now. It's, it's a ten hour feature length movie. I hate it. Like forty minutes was like forty minutes because that's how much that's how long an actual show would have been with commercials. Well, that's what I mean by an hour time slot. These other these new shows that are just doing like however long we need, and it's just like all right. <laughs> Yeah, like, like that's what was nice about the Mandalorian. Wasn't every episode forty minutes? Uh, possibly. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the time codes or anything. I was just actually interested in watching the show for a fucking change. No, I know, but I mean, like, I, I just want them. To, like, okay, this episode. Like, I want every episode to be about forty minutes, and that's it. Like, give yeah, me a break. I'd like tops. Yeah, like that's. I, I would much prefer half hour time slots, like twenty two minutes. But I can do a forty minute show if it's good and it doesn't waste my fucking time. No, that's, that's... what I mean. At maximum, it should be forty to forty five minutes. Like, yeah, at minimum exactly. twenty two minutes would be perfect. <laughs> I I finished uh, Gargoyles again. Yeah, I hadn't seen that show in a long ass time. Like, I I'd seen episodes off because you know because Christina had the DVDs, so she was she yeah. rewatched them a couple of years ago, and I would see episodes. But that show. This, so the first season's 13 episodes. The second season's 52 fucking episodes or 50 episodes. So there's like sort of filler episodes that were just kind of boring. But but right. the main storyline stuff with the uh, like that would that would end up being like parts, like parts one, two, you know, one of four or whatever. Those yeah. were excellent. So like when that show's good, it's really good. And when the show's bad, it's kind of just boring. Right. Well, I don't don't people say that like season three kind of drags on. Is that the one season three about? is a different like series altogether that show is over by the end of season two okay like it, it ends on like the perfect note and it's over i did try right. continuing but like the third season is basically x-men because like everybody <laughs> knows that they exist now so there's a group that gets together that's basically like the no muties guys from the x-men yeah. show yeah. it's like i was like Ugh. And, and, and plus the animation there's an a team and a b team for the for the regular show in general and the B team's not that bad, but this the third season's like the C team. Like there's loops in animation where it's just like it's it, it's like as bad as like bad anime. Where they just, just got stretched too thin, I'm guessing. Yeah, so I mm. didn't even bother. I was like, why am I gonna watch? Why am I gonna keep watching the show when I actually liked the ending of the show? Why am I gonna continue? <laughs> I had a fucking I had a VHS tape that came with a copy of or that came with a I said a copy it came with like a can of uh, Chef Boyardee as a kid or something or SpaghettiOs and it had <laughs> gargoyles on it which I wasn't allowed to watch and Schnookums and Meat which was fucking Disney's <sighs> attempt at like doing uh, Ren and Stimpy style humor. It's hard. Is that? It's is oh, is Schnookums and Meat on Disney Plus? I wonder. No, I think you asked me that before and I haven't seen it because I'll check every once in a while. I'll just like run through this what's on there. It can't possibly be good, but I mean, I want to watch it again. It's hard. See. It's hard for me to like recommend Disney Plus because it's like there's shows on there that like that are totally worth watching, but like to subscribe to it for a whole year doesn't really seem like. like well, what I wanted to do was, I mean, Corey's always listening to like Pandora shit or whatever on her YouTube, and I'm just like, I can. They have this thing called Spotify Duo. Now. I can just get that for I. I can't subscribe to Spotify Duo right now because I'm doing the Spotify deal where I get Hulu for free. So if I undid that and subscribe to Spotify Duo, she could have an account. And then I'm like, well, then I could just subscribe to the Hulu Disney Plus like bundle package. And then we'd have Hulu Disney Plus and you'd have a Spotify account. She didn't want to do it anyway, so it's fine. And I saved money in the long run. But it was like that was an option. So, I got I got uh, it because I already had Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, as as a as a consumer, I was I was sort. I <laughs> it's was not consumer. It's consumer. No, but I'm a consumer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man. So you're Sumerian and you just love cum. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say like I wasn't exactly excited for the shows, 
the original programming <laughs> uh, announced for Disney Plus, but because I think it, the only good looking one was the Mandalorian, everything else is just like, man, this seems like some Hallmark tier bullshit. I know, but like you know, I'll I'll try, you know, I'll try anything, and and yeah, like, of course. But, but like with COVID, I mean, that all that shit all got blown out of the water. Yeah. But in a good way too, because there has there won't be any new Marvel movies apparently for a year, which I'm happy. Yes, with. I know. Uh, not that yeah, I didn't every, like everyone... those movies, I just want a fucking break from them. That's all. Yeah, it, it became exhausting. It was the same deal with like when there was a Star Wars movie coming out every six yeah. months. It's like that's why no one saw Solo, and it's just yeah. like and you guys wonder why this shit tanked. It came out like six months after the Last Jedi. Yeah, that oh god, there's just, I, you know, people who enjoyed those movies, that's fine, but like. It, it, they, it could have been so much better. They could have done so much more. It's it's Disney. They have a fucking pipeline now, and they're like, we're gonna crank this shit out like it's a sweatshop. I have, I have, I actually had a funny thought this morning that uh, COVID was an act of God to to um, punish Disney. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's ironic because it's like China sent that shit over here to fuck us over. And it's like, well, now you guys don't get your funny comic book movies. So what? what's, you know, how's it going? Yeah, they're the only ones that watch them now in mass. You're the re- you, you guys are the reason that Mulan was such a piece of shit, I'm assuming. Oh, it seemed that way. Yeah. I'm so fucking glad that flopped. I it's it's so mean to be like, yeah, I hope something fails, but it's like, God, that the amount of hubris behind that fucking Mulan live action remake is just like uncanny. And I'm like, good. I didn't know a making... goddamn thing about it. Just besides that, it was a live action Mulan, and that's all I needed to hear to, to not want to see it. Well, it doesn't have Mushu. It doesn't have any of the songs. And instead of a tale about a girl who has to work hard to earn her keep among all these men in secret she's just got magic chinese fucking phoenix powers that make her good at everything immediately no i know all about it now okay 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 no i mean i didn't know about it before i was like yeah. no but what i mean is that all i needed to hear was that it was a, it was a live action disney remake and i'm like yeah not interested well, i've been against these fucking things since almost the beginning yeah and i mean i i got dragged to see beauty and the beast in theaters and i'm like god this is this is not good if you want to like, if you want a good beauty and the beast just watch gargoyles <laughs> if i want a good beauty and the beast i just watch the original which i thankfully did get to see again in theaters like a decade ago they re-released it and i, I went and saw it in philly and i'm like damn i forgot how good this movie is i haven't tried rewatching that forever because i've, beauty I've and the seen beast it a bunch of times beauty and the beast is very good um there's a reason it's like one of the most beloved of those I wish Disney would just re-release. I instead of making wasting so much money making these live action remakes, I wish they would just re-release the classics in theaters like they did that time with Beauty and the Beast. But unfortunately, we live in America, where your average fucking Iowa Joe Schmo is like, "Oh, it's like that thing I remember, but it ain't animated anymore, so I can enjoy it as a grown ass adult." It's like, all right, cool. It's great. Yeah. It is... Who who needs who needs well animated, well paced storytelling with good songs when we can have Lumaire the candle look like a golden fucking turd because he's got such a detailed CGI face. Fuck this shit. I, I still I don't understand uh, adults. <laughs> it's it's, it's just no, it's just it's a it's the culture in America. Like cartoons are for kids. I can't fucks with that shit. And it's like I I hate being that guy because I find the people on Twitter who make that argument really creepy too, where it's like, no, animation is not just a medium for children. I'm like, yeah, you're right, but like, just calm down. It's, it's like, it's never going to change. Whatever. I think I think anybody who talks about their passions openly is a faggot. Yeah, I mean, I agree, <laughs> but I, I think the people who talk about cartoons super obsessively on like Twitter and stuff are super creepy. And it's like, yeah. I went to school for animation. And I'm like, God, I'm kind of glad I don't care about this shit anymore, even <laughs> though I'm thousands of dollars in debt because I don't want to look like this guy. It's like, you guys got to watch over the garden wall. It's amazing. It's like, whoa, buddy, slow down. <laughs> Jesus and it Christ. is. It is a great show. I'm sure it is. I don't yeah. doubt it. It's just like these people who come. Have you not seen it? No, I, I need to watch it. My sisters keep telling me to watch it. Now that it's October, it's probably the exact perfect time. Because I watch thought it, because I watched the first episode a lot, like, a lot, you know, before I actually committed to the series. I watched the first episode. I was like, ah, this is weird. I don't get it. <laughs> and then, and then I finally, I was like, well, wait, this whole show f- f- from like start to finish is only an hour and a half. It's like four episodes. Right? Yeah, I was like, let me just watch it like a movie. And I was like, oh, now I get why this is weird. Oh, okay, I get it now. This is really good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's not even the people, it's not even the people that like obsess over like Steven Universe and stuff. It's the people that are like, you guys gotta watch OKKO. OK it's one of the, I'm like, all right, calm down. 
no, like I get it. The Owl House is probably really great. I'm never gonna watch it. Just fucking chill out. First episode's good. Of what? Yeah, OKKO. Okay, no, Owl House. OKKO okay, is sure good too, but I, I haven't I'm finished sure they're own. fine. I just like the people who. I, I follow certain people on our timeline on Twitter that turn me off to this shit, and it's just like I hate to well, be don't that. Listen guy. to me. I'm not that no. guy, so you no. should listen to me when I say something's no. good. No one listens to me. No, anyone who says anything's good, my immediate contradictory fucking uh, mindset is to not believe them because <laughs> okay. I'm a contrarian. All right, then everything's awful. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I also watched that high score docu series on Netflix. Ah, uh, that was a waste of time. Couldn't even get ten minutes in before they broke a tranny in there. It's just like okay. Okay, so right. like I shouldn't say nah, I'm, I'm being negative, but I shouldn't be. Th- that series is fine if you don't know what a video game is, and like, or yes. the last game you played was Super Mario, yes. the NES or something, because like it's very. If you're the kind of guy who who has not touched a video game in fucking. 20 years but you still wear like a fitted cap with like the mario coin block on it or something yeah i guess it's like it's not i guess it's no better or worse well no i i think that the toys that made g4 us is, g4 put out better shit than I'm that. Sure. It, it, the toys that made us is a better documentary series because yeah, toys that made us is fine same with like the movies that made us but then again i'm not super obsessed with toys and movies so maybe it's maybe it's different Na- that's know? what i'm wondering because it's like yeah we're, you know to be fair we are super obsessed with video games and we know a lot more than other people would yeah not that i can i, 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 I can't recount Maybe? things that i know but i you know if you, if you told me you know, I, the main difference is that we know what the ZX Spectrum is. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a piece of fucking UK bullshit that that, that didn't make it over here because it's a piece of fucking. Oh, you're real stupid if you don't like the Specky. <laughs> you never played Eggy, what it? You play never played Dizzy in Treasure Land. You, ne- you never played Eggy. Eggy on the Zeddy. In the entire pantheon of British character design, it's they eggs. can only... It's just eggs with yeah, eyes. what the fuck? It's, it's, it's so weird. With eggs with eyes. It's so fucking weird. Oh, you, oh, you never played Party Squad? No, because I have taste. <laughs> oh, you nev- oh, you never mowed the grass? <laughs> <laughs> Is that that Gizmodo game? <laughs> There was about? a lot of fucking games where you mow grass. <laughs> Dude, there was... I was looking... I... <laughs> <laughs> follow me here yeah nintendo then my nintendo thing finally put out a bunch of physical rewards one of them was a dodo airlines bag from animal crossing uh, cool it was, for, it, was for, it was for platinum points which are the easy ones to get instead Ooh. of the gold points uh but i had just shy of enough to get the dodo airlines bag so i went on the app store to download fire emblem heroes because you get like 100 coins every time you beat a chapter and i only ever beat like the first chapter mm. and an app that was recommended under like Fire Emblem Heroes was just called literally mowing the lawn. <laughs> uh, it's got to be a UK so, yeah. game. No, I don't know, but that's it funny. must be. Yeah. But going back to I that docu series, yeah, it yeah, was like I it, to was, talk about. it was basically it was cute. It was like, oh yeah, you know, like oh, you know, although the, we both agreed the one actually good episode because I don't know much about PC gaming was it's the, the Doom episode. The Doom episode was cool because I didn't know. It's because the that the stuff. episode where they didn't have to fucking shove a bunch of weird diversity shit in there. Where they like, hey, we really need a gay diversity thing in this episode. Let's let's find some gay guy, get footage of him using a metal detector in a real graveyard, and talk about his gay RPG that no one's ever heard of because this dude lost the source code years ago. Yeah, like, like okay, it's great. one thing. It would be one thing if they found an actual person who happened to be gay who put out a game that everyone loves, but a game yeah. that no one heard of, like that I doubt fucking exists. To I watched, with. I watched so much gaming trivia bullshit on YouTube. I've watched so much G four. They would have if that game was even relatively well known. G four would have talked about it and made fun of it. Yeah, back in the day. that was. I've never heard of that. I couldn't believe that shit. Like I was like, no way. This guy's full of shit. Yeah, exactly. Or that other guy who's gay and black. Wow. Double, you know, fucking, yeah, he's oh, got the whole found, package. We found the first gay black guy to work on Madden. If you told me Madden 95 was the first Madden game with black characters in it, I would have been like, wait, they didn't have black people in them before that? Like, I never, again, me, as autistic as video, about video <laughs> games as I am, did not know that shit. Because it's a it's a non fact. It's like I just would have assumed they had black people in Madden from the beginning, even with the technical limitations of the hardware. No, it was because, because of that guy. 
It's because of yeah, that, that man yeah. alone, black people were allowed to play football. Dude, and every fucking time they brought in someone like that, me and Corey's dad would just look at each other and laugh because he's very much up on the same shit where it's like, here we go again. <laughs> They're doing this shit. No, dude, I'm telling you, he's important because black people weren't allowed to play football. Let's, let's they weren't allowed out, to play football in real life before he was. Out, he added black people to Madden, the game. Let's bring out this trans person who won a Space Invaders tournament in 1983 and let's dead name them in this documentary series because their name's written on the back of their shirt in this photo. Did that happen? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch that episode. I it's was thinking about something else. The first episode. I didn't watch the literally. first episode because I didn't give a fuck about Space Invaders. Right. Um, so, they did that, so they did that in every episode because I think I only watched about four of them. Everyone but the Doom one. Yeah. Because oh, be faggots don't play Doom. Only cool macho guys play Only Doom. Cool, yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was stupid. I, yeah, I was like... It, I mean, look, I get it if you don't play video games and you want to learn about them. That's totally a fine documentary series, but there's just so much fucking... No, it's not fine. If you, don't know, if you don't know anything about video games, stay the fuck away from my hobby. <laughs> well, that too. I'm yeah, joking. Like, I don't care. No, I'm dead serious. I think we need to start gatekeeping more because I'm really tired of these people coming in and being well, like, there need to be more black people in anime. I'm like, all right, go over to Japan and try to get them to do that. See how well that works out for you. I agree to certain. I, I agree. To I some do extent. agree. I'm just saying you're not going to change. Their no, I mean, I agree with you to some extent that that the, 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 the pro, that we allowed we were trying to not we I don't care. But like, you know, people are trying to make the video game hobby uh, accepted by the everyone else by the mainstream and that's how we get gone home and i don't want yeah that that it actually it actually hobby. opened the doors to people we don't want in exactly gamergate wouldn't have happened if we just gatekeep more i'm telling you maybe, maybe. I've, i'm almost dead serious on that <laughs> no i think you're right it sucks but it's like you know because it was like faggots who were wanted to be accepted by by mainstream We're like no guys seriously video games are cool stop giving me wedgies <laughs> yeah i know we have to blame we really they're the ones to blame i would say sports gate keeps their fucking communities and look how well they turned out but now they got all that shit going on so it's like well maybe it's not universal well that's but. the thing uh, uh sports fans are uh, extremely retarded <laughs> and they're probably the most autistic out of anybody they absolutely uh, they, they would rather burn down their town when when a, when oh, my team won a game and then they burned down dude i was in philly when the phillies won the world yeah Series. See, so. I, I i thankfully lived like three blocks away from the epicenter of that shit but i was there there's like photos of like crowds of people gathered on like chestnut and broad which is like right where i was yeah there's and a, then i got home before I got back to my apartment three blocks away before the cops with the tear gas came in and pushed everyone over the bridge to Camden. Yeah. And then I went and walked down that street the next day and like all the windows to the FYE were broken and shit like that. Yeah, like they're just as bad as... And I was like, damn, dude, sports be wiling out this year. Yeah, I don't understand how like that... I don't know if that is accepted by by the mainstream, but I don't. It shouldn't be. <laughs> I think maybe up until this year it, it was. Yeah, That's nuts. That's so crazy. I think they're gonna put a bit of a hard a hard stop on that shit after this year. But at least California's gonna shut down again because everyone got COVID because of that whole San Diego and fucking pay, whatever their their baseball team is <laughs> riots. Wait, what? I didn't even hear about this. No, I was talking about something very specific. That this San Diego. Uh, what is their baseball team called? It starts with a P. Pirates. I think it's the Pirates. I, I don't know. The Faggots. <laughs> the Faggots. Yeah, with the P. It starts with a P. The <laughs> P-H-A-G-G-I-T-S's baseball team. They won a... P-T-S's? They, yeah, they, they apparently won a wild card game, which I don't know what that means. And it's when you uh, it's when you throw down the card and then all your opponents on the opposing baseball team have to draw four. Right. They uh, and, ch- and then you change the color to green. They won a game and apparently that caused all of San Diego to burst into a riot. <laughs> oh, Rocco must have been having a fucking field day. That's how I even knew about it because I follow Mega Sixty Four. Yeah, it's the only reason why I knew. Otherwise, I would not have fucking heard about it because let me tell you, this fucking uh, I uh, uh, Aaron uh, 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 I just I just want I'm going full ostrich mode after this election. I I used, <laughs> I used to be I used to keep my head in the sand and used to be used to be. There's a classic random assault. Yeah, I I used to eat cat food. I <laughs> you used to eat cat food with Walt Disney. Yeah, yeah. Go- oh wow, Walt Disney, Boney Jones. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my God. He's at my door because it's Halloween time. Hey! <laughs> Tony. <laughs> no, Bony Jones. I'm sorry. I'm going to fuck you with my three inch realistic human penis, even though I'm a skeleton. 
Long Distance Timothy. Oh, shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No, but like, you know, I I don't know why, but in the last several, uh, maybe four or five years, I started to care again, and I really wish I hadn't. (laughs) Because they're making everyone care, because they're trying to make it seem like this is the most important election of our lifetimes. And I'm like, I guess. I'm voting third party again. I'm, I don't blame you. <laughs> I, you know, I was going to vote for Biden just because I'm sick of it. And, and then I'm like, and then I watched a, f- a few minutes of that debate because I was like, oh, this is going to be hilarious. And then I watched five minutes of it, not even. And I go, oh, yeah, that's right. I hate and then you realize people. He's a fucking, he's I a hate fucking, all of them. What's the, what's the type of organism that literally doesn't have a spine? Uh, an amoeba? No, I forget. There's a technical term, but he's one of those. An invertebrate? <laughs> yeah, he's an invertebrate. <laughs> Apparently Trump just steamrolled him the whole time and he was just like, no, that's not true. I he hated Trump because he's face I hated Trump during that because he's a bully, and I hated Biden because he wouldn't he, he wouldn't Trump even look up. No, stop. We look. Bullies. No, we don't. We don't, okay? <laughs> no, we don't. And uh my turn, goddammit. Yeah, right. So and I'm just like I, I live in so like uh so to dox myself, I live in Delaware. This this state <laughs> oh, this state is going to vote Biden no matter what I do. I could vote for Harambe and Biden's still going to win this state. So it doesn't matter what I do. But I just out of I'm just I'm I shouldn't even vote at all. Like there's what's the Only fucking point? You voted for third party and someone was like, "What the fuck, man? That was a wasted vote. That was a vote for Biden <laughs> instead of Trump." That might happen. That was apparently that was the idea. Right. <laughs> But anyway, I don't fuck. I don't. I don't want to get into this. I hate it. I hate. I know. It. I hate I know. it. I'm, I'm, just... I'm super fucking tired of it too, and just want it to be over and done with. It won't be, no matter who wins. Well, now Trump. Trump's, now Trump supposedly has the Rona. We'll see how. No, that apparently, goes. apparently he's totally fine. It might get discharged from the hospital as soon as Monday. He's gonna. Well, I love. I love that post about how he's gonna. He's. We're. He, they're gonna create a vaccine from his white blood cells because he's and then injected with everybody. So everyone's got a little bit of Trump in them. And so, and then when everybody has white privilege, has no white one privilege. will. <laughs> that picture syndrome from the Incredibles. Yeah, laughed so fucking hard. So See, that's good. the thing. The memes are still great. I still love. Yeah. The memes. Oh, the meme harvest has been fucking bountiful, especially yeah. when Steve got announced. Jesus Christ. When what? When Steve got announced for Smash. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. Apparently, I can't believe that crashed Twitter. Uh, yeah, apparently it did. People I... have been all be like, "It's garbage pick. Who cares?" I'm like, dude, I like. I haven't played Minecraft in a decade. I Ugh. get it. It is one of the best selling video games of all time. I just you find have it. Kids you have kids today who are playing Minecraft and you have kids, you have people who are like 20, 21 now that were 10 a decade ago when it was in beta who probably played Minecraft. That is a huge fucking get. Yeah, I guess. I I mean, I just find it odd. That's all. But I guess it shouldn't be odd because you're right because the game's been popular for 10 like years. The meme pick and I'm like, I could actually see Steve being in the game to be quite fucking honest. I guess, like, yeah. It's definitely not my first choice. I'd rather have had Shantae or Dante or... Harambe, <laughs> yeah. or Travis. Oh, oh no, I guess he is in it. I mean, it is disappointing. Travis got my my dream scenario was they would announce a HD one and two No More Heroes Switch compilation coming out like the same day because mm. you can't really release Travis Strikes Again and No More Heroes three as Switch exclusives without like porting the first two over, right? I and guess. it would be a relatively easy port. I'd have to imagine. I guess. Um. And and then they would reveal like a Travis Smash trailer, but I'll take Travis being a me costume over literally nothing. That's still really cool. Travis from the hit game Travis. Yeah, I thought they did the same thing with Altair. To be fair, people don't remember that. I thought, like, I mean, I I don't pay attention to Smash reveals because I don't play it. But I thought, I thought it was going to be a wonderful one on one character just because. It's that one. Uh, I think it was Light Light Hero or Light Hero, whoever however you pronounce his name. Like he 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 highlighted the fact that it was on October first, and the the date spells out one hundred one, and he just posts a picture of Wonder Red, and I'm like, fuck yeah! Oh. I mean, he's a spirit. He's a spirit, but they could do that apparently because Min Min got in. Hmm. So, but I'm totally fine with Steve Minecraft man. Apparently, and, and I watched the video yesterday of like his gameplay focused video. Like he is fucking complicated as shit. Yeah. That might be one of the most technical characters they've ever made. It's weird. Insane. I don't think I'm even going to play him that much because of that. But I'm like, whatever, cool. It makes a lot of people mad. <laughs> oh, the people who get mad about it are dumb. It's Dude, watching that video made me want to play Minecraft again. I'm like, I haven't played Minecraft in like a decade. I, I played it before the Ender shit 
got added. That was the last I, time I played it. You know, I did try playing it kind of recently, and so much stuff got added, I turned it off because I was like, I'm, what yeah. the fuck is this? <laughs> That's almost what I worry about, but it's like, well, I have Windows 10 now. I could just buy it and play it. No, I mean, it was like overwhelming, all the new stuff. I was like, I don't remember yeah, any of this. I mean. I, I'm worried that I'm going to get overwhelmed because it's like, oh, there's like spells now and villains yeah. and all this other bullshit, but it's like, I remember having fun with that fucking game, so it's like, eh, pick it up again. Who knows? Uh, Damn. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants. What are you doing? <laughs> you didn't listen to the new Neil Siskiy Gregor record? No, not yet. Um, Mouth Dreams? Yeah, I know what it is. I didn't listen to it yet. <laughs> it's not as good as his other ones, although, I mean... I need to give that guy's discography a deep dive because he seems like the kind of person whose music I'd like, but I never really gave him much of a chance. So, like, I like I like the funnier songs more than, like, the kind of serious songs, but, like, not that there's any serious songs in those albums, but, like... Of course. I don't know. Like, I mean, I think I always end up just liking half the songs on, on his albums, but, like, the ones that are really... It's it's the, um, the Spongebob We Will Rock You mashup is fucking genius. And there's a... Uh, it's, it's, um, Britney Spears, uh, my, what's that song? My loneliness. Oh, give me a song. Hit me baby one more time. Is, uh, mixed up with a, with a Beethoven song. I thought he did original songs. Is it just mashups or what? He does do original songs, but these mouth albums are mashup songs. Okay. I didn't know that. There's what does that like, seem like I, he has an album called like spirit phone that I know people suck. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't listen to his original music. <laughs> I only <laughs> listen to his memes. Stuff. I meant. I'm like, I would probably listen to that guy's original music. It seems like shit I'd like, but yeah, I should probably listen to his mashup albums too. Huh? Yeah. Mouth uh, was, I think the first mouth. one was called mouth sounds. And then, yeah. It, yeah. It's great. Huh. All right. I just I'll assumed you would already have listened to it. That's why I started doing that. No, it's just one that's always eluded me for some reason. Is he the guy who did fucking the ultimate showdown? Yeah, which I only found out like a year ago that he did that. Yeah, he's like, he's Lemon Demon. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, his YouTube channel is pretty well, damn good too. Potter Puppet Pals, right? I don't know. I think he's the guy who did Potter Puppet Pals. I only you know, I only know about his like like uh, some of his movies. The short, I mean, the short videos. Oh, I was gonna say he's done movies. What? <laughs> No, like uh, the one where it's like he 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 meets up with like Kid Vid, <laughs> not not Kid oh, Vid. Kids no, no, no. I mean, like it's like a it's like a fake like a like a video game whiz kid. It's like it's like the wizard, but weird. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I have enough time to get a Kid Vid costume together for Halloween. <laughs> oh, Halloween wasn't canceled in your town. Well, even if it is, no one in my neighborhood wears masks, so they're going to be trick or treating anyway. It'll be fine. Well, I'm going to set up shop in the back of the garage, and then in the front of the garage, the kids can uh, get the candy. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have a garage, so you can totally do that. Yeah, so I think it'd be cool. And by yeah. then, I should have my other car will be got, will be uh, got rid of. Yeah. My my car. I, I already have the house all decked out. I, I yeah, there's just always kids playing in the in the cul-de-sac with like no fucking masks on. There even if they like do a statewide ban on Halloween, there's no fucking way they're going to come to our 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 town and or our neighborhood and shut it down. Our kids in the neighborhood will be trick or treating for sure. I I mean, I don't, it wasn't shut down here either. I assume it won't be. I don't know how you'd enforce that. <laughs> you'd have to arrest like every kid. Yeah, it's kids bullshit. Kids at this point probably don't give a fuck. I'd have to imagine. No. And they're going to be wearing masks anyway. Yeah, I know. For the most part. So it's like, whatever. Who gives a fuck? I'm still decorating for Halloween. That's what I want. But I do. I did get a great sense of joy last year. Just having people come to my house for the first time ever and having it like decorated and like people going like, dude, your house, your, your house is awesome. And like, just, you know, being like, oh, that's a cool costume. And like just playing video, spooky video game music out the window on my big speaker. It's like, yeah, this is this is rad. Yeah, I got like a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of uh, like fake cobweb, and uh, uh, and, yeah, I... and, and like the the wrapped up like corpse, and, like a big and a big spider, and the, the uh, corpse will I move have, around uh, and stuff. <laughs> I had a I had like a fake uh, styrofoam model head that like you use for, yes, yeah. like modeling shit, and I put a Halloween mask on it, and then I just put it in like a bunch of cardboard stuffed pieces of my clothing and like a lawn chair out front. I saw that Christina showed me. 
Yeah. And then I, I got like orange lights on the windows and I finally got one of those projector things for my house. I, they had one that I really wanted, but I figured it would be too scary. It was like a pair of eyes and then like two pairs of jaws that like clamp down. But I'm like, that's way too fucking scary. Those are cool. Like, I wanted to get the one that's like a bunch of spiders and, and insects coming out of the wall. Yeah. But I just got the one that's like, it just makes it look like the, the house is on fire. Like it's like a, it's like a red shimmering kind of pattern. So I got one of those light bulbs that look like a, like, um, like a campfire oh cool yeah so i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna I, I bought like a little um i think they're called edison uh lamps it doesn't have a shade on it okay so i'm gonna put a bunch of like i'm gonna try to get some wood from outside and make a fake campfire oh that'd be neat because i'm gonna be jason again so that makes sense i'll just be sitting yeah. i'll just be sitting in the back of my dark spooky garage That's I got, awesome. yeah it's i hope i i I hope kids come around. I hope they don't get too. I hope their parents don't get too weird out. Because, like you said, we're all gonna be wearing masks. I mean, I'll be wearing a mask anyway, but I'm gonna wear a mask under my mask. I'm sure you'll get yeah. some kids. Like yeah. even even if it's a less of a turnout than normal, I'm sure you'll get some. Yeah, but, it's uh, fine. And then and I replaced the little light in our little lamp post out front with a red LED one. So oh, smart! I should do that actually. Yeah. No, the, uh, you can order them off Amazon pretty cheap. But like, literally, all my fucking decorations are just bullshit from uh, Walmart. But Walmart was like pretty well cleaned out when I got there already, and I got there like at the end of September. Oh shit! Yes, yeah, so that was nuts. So you didn't you, you didn't went, get the twelve went, foot tall? Uh, no, how tall is it again? That skeleton? It's twelve foot, dude. Someone in my town has that. Oh shit! It's three. I see it on my way home, driving way on my way home from work every day, and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I actually, I think I saw it. No, I saw it online first, and then I we happened to go to a Home Depot, and I saw it. I'm like, damn, that thing is giant. I know. <laughs> I see it driving home from work, and I'm like, fuck, that's awesome. I want to get one and put it on the back balcony so that it overlooks <laughs> the house and just have yeah. it there for like all year round. <laughs> Do you think that would go over the top of your roof? Because you got a you got like a three floor house, basically. No, there, there's the back there's the back porch and the balcony, so I think it would peer over. Oh, there is a balcony out back. Yeah. Oh the top floor okay yeah you're right that would still be sick i don't mm, I, I worry about structural integrity on that but that's still awesome oh I'm, well i would yeah. like i'd get like a bunch of wiring or whatever you whatever to like tether it to the balcony so it wouldn't go anywhere you should do that <laughs> it if would be got, funny if you got 300 bucks to blow you should probably do that i don't <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem although hey yeah. maybe after halloween they'll get marked half down Half I price. did. I did text Corey the minute I saw that on Twitter. I was like, "A uh, giant skeleton for our house?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Um, uh, and I went to Spirit Halloween just to see if they had any decor. And no, I haven't done that yet. It, I should. There's like nothing at Spirit Halloween this year. At least the one that I went to. How oh, weird. Well, there's like six of them around here, so. Well, I, I I have to assume that like people aren't manufacturing a lot of stuff, which would make like normally Spirit Halloween is like filled to the brim with like a bunch of different decor and like they have this giant fucking display with all the creepy like clown uh, animatronics that you can put out in front of your fucking house that cost a thousand dollars. But it's like here is like four of them. And then it just because it's in an old Sears or what mm. used to be Sears, and it takes up like the like half of the entire first floor and just a lot of it was just the like the middle of the floor was just empty and it was just like along the walls are all the costumes and i'm like damn they got like nothing this year See, i don't kind of i a- don't generally go to those places so i don't know if they're like if they're packed like in september uh I I, doubt. i've only ever went to one like a week before halloween so like i've always i've always seen them kind of empty maybe it'll get more populated with items yeah i mean it's at, still it's still not even like the first week of october is not even over yet but I just I just remember it last year, which I guess was close to Halloween when we went. And then I remember it this like just when I went a couple of days ago, I'm like, damn, this is like empty. What the fuck? But it would make sense considering the year we've had so far. Like, I'm sure a lot of yeah. places aren't manufacturing things. You know, a creepy giant 10 foot clown animatronics that move aren't exactly an essential business right now. So I get it. Huh. But uh, yeah. It's, it's just a bit of a bummer, but I still think Halloween's happening in my neighborhood. So I'm still happy. I have my haunted mansion, Disneyland, uh, wallpaper up on my computer right now. Like literally the wallpaper from the inside of the haunted mansion. It looks like a bunch of spooky faces. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I like Halloween. I'm the Halloween guy. And then Corey's the Christmas person <sighs> in the house. So we have our separate, uh, corny on mm-hmm. main corny on main is going to be available tomorrow. Oh, they're gonna. They're, she's gonna make that shirt. Yeah, that's great. I, if I even remotely liked candy corn, I would buy that. But I, I fucking don't. love candy corn. I love candy corn. I'm fucking filthy degenerate. I don't. 
understand why people don't like candy corn. It's, it it's sucks. Just, but it's just syrup. I mean, it's just sweet candy. What the fuck? I don't get it. I don't yeah, get it. It's like <laughs> fucking chalk. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I got my cool fucking vegan, uh, <laughs> my gluten-free <laughs> candy corn. God, is your dick receding into your body as we I don't speak? have one anymore. It fell off. I- yeah, I didn't think so, because you ate too much fucking candy corn. Now that syrup rotted the fucking joint that connects your dick to your fucking pelvis. I should wear this corny on main shirt, like, over my Jason yes. costume. Because <laughs> the kids aren't going to get it, or maybe they will, and that'll be extra disgusting, but the parents will be like, yo, dude, <laughs> high five. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting it means horny on main. <laughs> like, I know that's, I knew, I know that is the joke, but I just like candy corn, so I just... <laughs> No, it, it works even better because it doesn't even register in your head as a horny on main joke. So, yeah. uh, it's it's totally wholesome at this point. Oh, I should say. So this is this is Megan Star at the Megan Star. Her, her yeah. shirts are really cute. Uh, I got. We have a lot of like followers, so it's like people should do. It's that. weird, yeah. Like she's, but I mean, she's the one. I assume it was her who made the uh, the uh, Animal Crossing Hawaiian shirt I bought. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. I think it's her and her husband or boyfriend who make who make these designs. Have you uh, have you played any of the Halloween update for Animal Crossing yet? No, I stopped playing that game months ago. Okay, I stopped, I stopped playing, playing that game after uh, you could swim. I did that for like a week and then I stopped playing it altogether. Yeah, same. But now that they added Halloween shit, I'm like, yeah, I'm going and I'm growing pumpkins. I'm getting all this Halloween DIY shit. It's happening. I was gonna cancel my my uh, Nintendo Online subscription, but it's like it's still good until March. I was like, oh, all right, <laughs> I might as well keep uh, I it. Also, I also played a bit of Mario Thirty Five. Oh, are you gay? What? Are what? You, are you gay? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> are you gay? Did you Why pay for it? Paid? Are you gay? Did no, you pay for games? Free. It's free with the online subscription. Wait, what's well then? What's Mario Thirty Five? Mario Thirty Five is the battle royale game. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know about this. Yeah, it's it's you play Super Mario Brothers with thirty four other people, and every time you kill a Goomba or a, Co- or a Koopa or whatever, it gets sent to your opponent's fucking screen. Oh, that sounds it's, awesome! It's, it's literally Tetris ninety nine, but Mario Brothers. Oh, uh, that sounds cool. I di- I have been playing the Mario three D All Stars thing. If that's why you're calling me gay, yeah, that's I why I was calling those, you gay. Because I don't own those games at any anymore. So I'm like, oh. yeah, whatever, fuck it. I was gonna buy it anyway. I I'm not happy about the limited availability thing but it's like well this is a good ass deal did you Even get the physical they... version or the digital oh no i just got the digital version i'm not really going physical with my switch I, I own two physical games for my switch and that's because there's no other way to get them it's ring fit and labo toy con kit one or whatever you're double gay I, I don't know i just like being able to carry around the switch and have all my games on it you could have a game up. what you could have a game on the switch yeah, but I'm then I can just have my entire fucking collection on the thing, and then I don't have to worry about it. You know? But what if you weren't gay? Uh, what if I wasn't gay? Let's let's consider the following. Consider what the following. if I wasn't gay? Um, You'd still have your games like I do. I guess. I don't know. I'm not I, as, really... as, as my GameCube explodes as I say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I just... I went digital with the Switch from the beginning, and I'm like, yeah, fuck it. That's I, fine. I, I don't care. Them. What do you? Which game are you playing? What do you mean? Which Mar- oh the Mario thing? Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Mario 64 and it hurts because I, I beat the game and now I'm in like the later stages where it's just like man, this game is not aged very gracefully. Eh, I mean, it kind of. It's it's. I, I've been. I, I've played it often enough where it, it's just it's a hard game once you beat like when you're trying to get all the stars and yeah which is what i'm doing the controls aren't the best i just i can't shit on it though because it was the like i get i get the context of when it came out i'm not shitting on it because of that but like it's it's the kind of game that i play it now and i'm just there's so many times where i go like <laughs> yeah i uh, well at yeah. least we know that the nintendo uh joy con drift isn't real why because they said so yeah they said so that means it's not real you know not that it doesn't happen all the time when i was playing animal crossing and uh my friend told me that oh yeah yeah it's not like it's not like mario just runs off of a fucking cliff randomly every time i play i can't believe that shit yeah nintendo is lucky they make good games (laughs) uh are you gonna play sunshine are you just gonna go like in order (laughs) no i'll play the good games i'll play mario 64 fuck off 
I will play Sunshine. I will. I'm sure that game is great. Um, I did boot up Galaxy for like a minute because I wanted to see how it works in handheld. And it's just tapping on the screen to replace a lot of the pointer shit. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Uh, my Joy-Con, my right, my my <laughs> my right Joy-Con does have weird connectivity issues when I have it detached for some fucking reason. I don't know if there's like too much, like if if the signal is getting interrupted because my PC tower is in the way between where my Switch is sitting and where I hold my Joy Cons. But it's like I just the pointer, that... the pointer wasn't working as smoothly as it would on the Wii. So I'm like, this might end up being a handheld game for me. I just think for the first time ever, Nintendo made a shitty console. What the switch? Uh oh, you mean like in terms of build quality? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely uh fucking. You could definitely argue that. No, there's I great, yeah. Had, I don't mean the games. There's good games on. No, it. no. I haven't had too many problems with mine. Um, to be honest, I mean there would be random times where like my Joy-Con would be attached and it would just say it wasn't anymore. Mm. But that was like very rare. Uh, and I only started getting Joy-Con drift on my first pair of Joy-Cons that I got with the thing three years ago, like recently. Like within this calendar year, but like uh, I find I, if I start getting the drift, if I if I like wriggle the stick around, uh, like you know in a circle, if I wriggle it around, it, then it won't. It, it starts working normally again. So I don't know if there's just crap in there or what. I don't know. I mean, those are tiny controllers to have the amount of shit that they do. No, that's stuff. true. They do a lot. And I mean, I, I guess you could make that argument too. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I actually, I would totally agree with you. This is probably the first Nintendo console that isn't made of Nintendium or whatever. Yeah. It's like, I still have a wave bird from like 2005 that still works flawlessly. Um, Your boy, uh, what's his name? Thor in high heels, right? Uh, who... Wait, is don't you watch him? Yeah, YouTuber. I used to watch him and then he made a joke about capitalism being bad. So I was like, well, I'm subscribing from you because that's how capitalism works. Uh... <laughs> What, just because you made a joke? You can't handle jokes? Yeah, I can't handle jokes. You you, subs- you unsubscribe from people probably as often as I block people on Twitter. I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he was he, he was talking about uh, the Hotel Dusk series. So I started, I actually, oh, cool. I figured I, I actually fired up Hotel Dusk again. I was like, man, I haven't played that in fucking more than 10 I, years. I bought that from Complete Inbox recently. Not recently, like actually probably a couple of years ago. And I still haven't played it yet. <laughs> Oh, I liked it a lot, but that and uh, Trace Memory. The yeah, sequels never I, got re- released here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. She got a period in Smash Ultimate, so there's that. But... She got her period in Smash Ultimate? That's good. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I didn't know she's like 12 in that game or something. I was like, ugh. Oh, yeah. yeah, or, or 14. I don't know. She's something. She's underage, whatever she is. Also, I don't know if you I don't know if you follow that guy, that Ethereum art guy, but I'm in his Discord server now, and like someone was live streaming Professor Layton three in there, and I'm like, damn, I want to play these games again. These are mm-hmm. good. I'm just, I'm, you know, it's like it's good because it's not, it's not really a game game, so I can well, just kind of yeah, I can just kind of read it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's one, of the, it's one of the DS games that you play like a book. You hold yeah. it sideways. I actually started playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic. On your DS or on in, on <laughs> on GOG, my PC. Yeah. I, oh, gog has been killing it with like like Konami was like, yeah, fuck it, put out Metal Gear Solid One and Two and Silent Hill Four on GOG. So I bought those immediately. Oh, have fun with Silent Hill Four. I mean, I know that game's probably shitty, but it's like, look, if Konami's actually going to stop being pieces of shit and like re-release some of their classic games on GOG, I will support that immediately. So whatever. Oh, uh. Amazon, well, you said Twitch. I guess Twitch and Amazon Prime are pretty much the same thing, right? Uh, Amazon owns Twitch, yes. Yeah, yeah. They they also put out uh, that that ho- horrendous looking uh, Jay and Silent Bob game for free. That's what I was telling you about, yeah. And I did not claim it. <laughs> I did because it's a free game, and I'll, I will eventually play. I it. claim any garbage that's on there, except I at, at a principle, oh, I won't. Dude, I will claim anything that I get for free, even if I know I'm never going to play it. I I own Life is Strange Season 1 on, like, a million fucking things. I'll never play that game, but I have it, so it's like... Oh, that's how you and I, I oh, differ. Oh, oh, you, if you want to know about how big of a consumer I am, I bought fucking uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC. Why? So, because it's a, it's a bunch of, like, really big games that you can play on PC now. Like fucking microsoft flight simulator I'm, let me just look and see what i have right now microsoft flight simulator bloodstained ritual of the night that new battletoads game fucking dead cells 
I didn't download a ton of things because I'm running out of hard drive space, but uh, Disneyland Adventures, Double Kick Heroes, Gree, that fucking game about a crying woman that I said I'd never play, uh, Night in the Woods, fucking... There's a... I mean, there's a, like... Xbox Game Pass, I had it for like a month at the beginning of the year because I had... um. I had a a bunch of boxes of pop tarts and you got a free week with everyone that you like sent the receipt in for. So I got like four free weeks of Xbox game pass and I played like Forza horizon four and Blair witch and untitled goose game and some other shit. And it's a lot of that shit's also on PC. If you have that. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll, I'll do this. Why not? That new battle toad game is actually not bad in terms of gameplay. The humor sucks. For the most part, but in terms of gameplay, it's actually halfway decent. Which game? The new Battletoads. Oh. The just, yeah. Like, the humor's pretty cringy, but in terms of gameplay, I'm like, damn, this actually plays pretty good. They, not gonna lie. They ruined uh, whatever her name is. I know. I don't really care. She has a huge really... ass, which is nice. Yeah, but there was one joke that made me laugh where um, it was like, Pimple, get up. I think we're being robbed. And he's like, so we don't own anything. He's like, ah, you're right. I'll go apologize. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. There were like a couple jokes in there that made me laugh. For the most part, it sucks. Humor wise. It's like trying way too hard. And it's also got this weird meta narrative where like, apparently the last 26 years of Battletoads history is fake because they were living in some sort of like computer simulation. So like, that's the joke. Is that like all the other Battletoads games weren't real whatever and they're like yeah we're famous we're the battle toads and it's like uh no you're not no one who knows who you are and the, the, this game is them like trying to like gain glory by defeating the dark queen who i guess isn't really the dark queen or something i don't know i'm playing through it because i got it on this game pass thing and i'm like i want to see what a big train wreck this is and i'm like yeah the cutscenes kind of suck but actually as a beat-em-up it's not half bad it plays pretty good so there's that at least i've been playing beat-em-ups and like beat-em-ups i play are good yeah stolen. but what how, what do you do with all the beat-em-ups suck dick yes yeah, i uh, that's what i wonder like how many beat-em-ups have you played uh a decent amount but like Not have you played sengoku 3 actually that is available on twitch have, you, have you played one uh no it's a uh, it's a neo geo game i believe uh, yeah that's okay yeah oh sorry I have sorry that. i haven't played it yet but i have it uh yeah. have you played uh wait I'll, let me just I played Streets of Rage 2, yes. Yeah, sh- so. No, no, that game sucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, hold on. I'm, op- I'm opening up my launch box. Let me tell you all the games that I got. Oh, I think I can actually... Can I Can I arrange these by gen- context, genre? <laughs> Sorry, say that again? Out of context, I'm opening up my lunch box. Let me see what games I have. Sounds hilarious. Oh. Uh, I, I got these separated by... Okay. Alien vs. Predator is good. I heard that one's good. I haven't played Battle it. Battle Circuit's good. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is good. I also heard Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is good. I haven't played it. What was the one you said before Cadillacs and Dinosaurs? Bounce Circuit? Battle Circuit. No, I haven't played Battle Circuit. Uh, Denjin Makai. Actually, nope. uh, the second one I think is better. Uh, what, was that, what was that vampire game we played uh, at your Night place? Night Slashers. Was, yeah, Night Slashers was fun. I like that. But yeah. that was mostly because we were just plowing you through it as two players. It was well, sure. Uh, the King of Dragons, Knights of the Round. Uh, metamorphic mm. force is hilarious metamorphic I played any of those. yeah see that's what i'm saying i i, I not, when you because i thought about this before because i'm playing I, I thought about this like earlier in the week when i was playing all these games yeah the popular beat-em-ups the ones that everybody knows they do kind of suck yeah i mean i'm talking like final fight streets of rage shit like that yeah and, and double it's dragon just, is I'm the sure, fucking I'm sure, worst i'm sure it's because they're old but this new battle toads is actually pretty snappy no that's the thing like these games are old too all these games i'm telling you about are from the fucking 90s right i'm sure the original battletoads sucks dick too it does it. it's terrible but these well okay i've only ever played like the console beat-em-ups also are kind of bad if they're in the arcade they're generally pretty good yeah don't get me wrong i love shit like turtles in time or the fucking x-men game you know the the the, the simpsons arcade game's not bad either i actually just played that it's it's not great it, i mean don't give me it's, no, it's fun it's, as far as it's a simpsons beat em up and it's kind of strange but the controls are terrible yeah but if you have like infinite continues it's not that frustrating which is yeah it, a lot of these games though true a lot of these games if i was actually trying to beat them legitimately i'd be pretty fucking pissed at them 
Yeah, exactly. Well, they're built to, to fucking steal yeah. your money. So. But like metamorphic force is hilarious because you play as these guys who can. Oh, I guess it's kind of like um, altered. Oh, I, guess I, I guess I have icons on the fucking home screen for all these games I download. Let me open up that Xbox app real quick and see what else I have installed. But uh, uh, what's what's some other what is uh, ninja uh, the ninja kids is this really weird uh where you. It, you play as you play as ninjas in a beat 'em up, but you, it's all puppets, like marionette puppets. Oh, weird! Uh, Ninja Combat, it's it, that's pretty good. Oh, pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Uh, oh yeah, I, I bet you never heard of uh, Puli Rula. Uh, maybe. Hold P, on. Yeah, P U. It's Taito. P U L I R U L A. I haven't played that all the way through yet, but it's pretty cool. Uh, no, I'm just seeing a I'm just seeing a castle with a woman's spread eagle legs on either side of the door. <laughs> oh, that's the, oh fuck, that's the game that they show. I actually I actually have heard of this. I have heard of Puli Rula because you're like two kids with like magic staffs. Yeah, I've seen this. That's the game. That's the game that's in that music video. Uh, Rad Times. Oh, is it? Yeah, the Punisher um, Robo Army. Uh. Sengoku Denshao trilogy, Shadow Force. Shadow Force is fucking rad. If that, wait, no, I'm sorry. Is that the game I'm thinking of? I don't know. There's a game that's really cool. Uh, Violent Storm is badass because the first level has a theme song with lyrics. Undercover oh, really? Cops. Yeah. Oh no, you should actually look that's, up. That's the- what I love about Double Dragon Neon. Yes. Like no. Levels have fucking lyrics. To Violent them. Storm heard- is very Double Dragon Neon. I heard that fucking um, one of the later levels in Double Dragon Neon was supposed to be a Michael Jackson style song, but he couldn't put the lyrics in the song. When you hear that song, you're like, oh, this is absolutely a Michael Jackson song. Uh, yeah, shit. I think I know which one you're talking about, too. Oh, Mystic Warriors. Oh. That's the game I was thinking of. That, that, so Mystic Warriors is made by the same people who made, uh, I think it's Konami. The Konami beat em ups are generally really good. Like Sunset Warrior. Uh, I'm sorry, Sunset Riders. Yeah. So like when you're playing the first level of Mystic, I think it's Mystic Warriors anyway, you're... Mystic Warriors, you you go, you fight your way. There's there's um there's a drive-in movie theater, and on the movie theater, the screen they're watching Sunset Riders. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just cute little shit like that. Um, uh, I don't have all the I don't have all the icons on my desktop, which is why I was missing some. I did, I downloaded Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice. People say that game's fucking good. Uh, Killer Instinct, Forza Horizon Four. I'm just scrolling through. I'm just scrolling through here and seeing what's on Game Pass on PC. All three Age of Empires games, Alien Isolation. Uh, there's some like big ones on here: Blair Witch, Bloodstained, Carry On, which just came out recently. There's a, there's a lot of games that like just came out recently. Like Crusader Kings Three is on here, and that game just came out. There is another type. Crossing Souls, Dark Starters Three, Dead by Daylight, No Man's Sky. Oh, No Man's Sky, Sky is good. Uh, oh wait, I'm not No Man's Sky. I, I was I, I was thinking of something different. Dragon Quest Eleven S, fucking uh, F1 2019, which I guess some people care about. Fallout seventy six. Woo! <laughs> I'm talking. Hey, there's, about, some, there's some good shit on Game Pass for PC. I don't mind paying ten bucks a month for having relatively new games available. For download like immediately and kind of justify playing some of these things i wouldn't play night in the woods if i didn't have it on this thing let's put it that way you should look up riding fight riding fight it's another taito game it's fucking awesome uh money makes the mayor to go take him out apparently uh, money makes the mayor go is an actual <laughs> saying i've never heard of this is a beat up in like hoverboards with yes like set graphics yes huh interesting Armored Warriors, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Nemo. I do want to play. I do want to play the Moonwalker arcade game. It's bad. It's uh, I know great. the guy who runs um, the guy who runs the collection chamber made a, a thing that runs on Windows 10 that has all versions of Moonwalker, including the Genesis one, the arcade one, and like a couple other shitty ones no one's ever played. Mm. Uh, I'm looking at Violent Storm. Uh, when did this come out? I don't know. 93, 92. There's a YouTube okay. channel called. Um, what are they called? Nintendo 80... Fuck, I forget. Uh, let me look them up, because it's, it's something like Itty Bitty Nintendo Committee or some shit. <laughs> uh, they, they, they post stuff. That's how I found out about that game, to begin with. 
Nice. Uh, okay, there's a video called Mike Jugglers the Colossus. So I'm gonna. I will. I will probably also play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite because it's on Xbox Game Pass. Otherwise, I would never play that fucking thing. Oh, Minecraft Dungeons is on here. That's the like Minecraft Diablo game they came out with. That Momodora game that everyone likes is on here. Reverie Under the Moonlight, which they're making like another game in the same series, I guess. I don't know. Any new games? No, Momodora is like an anime, like pixel game. Like the art style kind of reminds me of Cave Story. I'm just looking through here. My neighbor Pedro. Fucking, again, No Man's Sky, which is. I'll, I might actually play that now. Oh, is it Nest Drunk? I think that's their name. Nest Drunk. Nest Drunk. Yeah, that's that's the. Nest Drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the ones who talk about these arcade games. And it was oh, diff- Pathologic 2 is on Xbox Game Pass. I hear nothing but good things about that game. Interesting. Look, Fat. Right? Listen, Fat. H2. All right, stop stop reading games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So you can make fun of me all you want for being a consumer and getting Xbox Game Pass, but now that I actually have a PC that can play decent games, it's like, well, I don't see why not. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do with your money. You. I, I'm concerned. The only thing I care about is when you say things are bad. And when you, I do. This, Christina does the same thing. I don't like when people just blanket statement like, "Oh, this genre is bad because I play two games." Well, it is. Yeah. Okay. Your beat 'em ups are so great. Why are they not still making them? It's <laughs> exactly. Fuck, you got me. Damn. Yeah, oh, dude, fuck. Damn. 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 <laughs> Damn. I gay. Uh, Christina was talking about. So she. She fucking. What'd she say? Oh, did you hear about the? She was like, "Did you hear about the? Uh, the." Twitch thought who who uh, has an OnlyFans of her beating up her grandma and I'm like what what the fuck are you talking about what and I started la- I'm laughing I'm like that's insane and I was like what do you what do you mean what's the con there has to be some context behind that he's like oh your grandma saw that her grandma found out about it so she she beat her up and I was like okay that's a completely different story than she purposely like live streamed her beating her grandma up. Is it, if it was just like a crime of passion, that's not the same thing. Were her were her fans buying these videos of her beating her up? I mean, what the Probably. fuck? <laughs> huh? Probably. No, I don't know. That's the thing. I just, I don't know. Here you go. Yakuza 0, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2 are all in game. Xbox I played games. those fucking games. You didn't. I know, but now I can. Yeah, you won't, though. I will. You're just going to play the same fucking... You're just no, going to play the same fucking... Your, your, your goddamn... Your, your, your book titty games... No, the problem with the Yakuza games is because I know I will like them so much that if I start playing one, it'll be another 35 hours before I start doing anything else. That's stupid. Just play the games. I, I know, but God, Kiwami 1 took me so long because I was trying to do like everything. I still didn't play 6. I took a break and then I never went back. You gotta get 6 while it's still available. Especially since like it seems like every version is the one that is the one that comes with like the art book and the shot glass or whatever. Oh, I guess. Oh, I, also, I got 13 Sentinels. I just rim. I don't know what I any of these are. I don't know these games. I don't know any of these new games. If they came out in the last year, I don't know them. <laughs> Vanillaware. I don't know any Vanillaware games. Odin Sphere. I know Odin Sphere. Dragon Crown. Okay, yeah, I know those games because they're like 10 years old at this point. Muramasa of the Demon Blade. Okay, yeah, I know that game too because it's old as shit. Vanilla, 13 Sentinels, you just rim is the new Vanillaware game. Okay, what is it? You're a bunch of school kids and you, you have like mechs. Okay, that still doesn't make me interested at all. I don't know. I bought it because it's a Vanillaware game. I haven't played it yet. What's the premise? What's the plot? What do you do? Hey, you're a bunch of kids and there's mechs, and I assume you fight other things with the mechs. I'm basically going into this thing blind, but I bought it. Okay. With an art 13 what? 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. <sighs> basically seems like Pacific Rim, but... Oh, yes. that movie sucks. No, no. Yes, yes, Stop. yes, yes. <laughs> You're wrong. The no, I'm not wrong. Fun. That movie's boring as fuck. No, it's not yes, it fun. is. It's boring. It's, it's boring. boring. Everything's filmed at night. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I hate that fucking movie. I do. I actually do. 90 frames per second. That movie's boring. Why. You suck. <laughs> okay, fine. You can tell me I suck. That movie's still boring. <laughs> The sequel is bad. Well, I won't even bother with the sequel because the first one sucked. 
No, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. That movie's boring. Hey, don't worry. People, I'm always right, and people will agree with me five years from now. That's the problem, though, is because I'm always right, and people will validate me. We'll see. Fucking bitch. We'll see. Uh, get back to me in ten years when everyone says, man, that movie stunk. <laughs> Who's next? Be- who's next in the chopping block? Oh yeah, Scott the Waz. <laughs> Scott the Waz is getting his fucking dick kicked in by all his fans when they find out that he secretly likes something that's bad. Yeah, uh, eugenics. Oh wait, no, that's movie Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that video of someone coming up to a fucking Scott the Waz at a convention? And he's like, "Yo, you, you know you're my nigga, right?" And he's like, "Sure." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And then, like, I saw some comment that was like, Scott is only saying it like that because he's never heard that word before, so he doesn't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny too. I I um, like I like the uh, I like the cult of personality surrounding Scott the Waz. I don't like Scott the Waz. I, he's made jokes about him bitching in later in like some of his newer videos where he's like, I know a video where I bitch about Nintendo, crazy, right? Well, that's why I don't like watching his stuff. He's just a whiner. Yes, I don't know. I like I I find his stuff funny. But I guess I can't fucking talk because I also watch Germa and Vine Sauce and you hate them too or whatever, so. I don't hate Germa. I never watch them, but I don't hate them. You'd probably hate him if you started watching him because you'd be like, this guy makes the same jokes I do and he's popular. So <laughs> fuck him. I don't care about that. I don't want people, I don't want people to even know who I am. <laughs> yeah. 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 All my boys last night were the name of the podcast. <laughs> what? We were on PlayStation chat, and one of them was like, oh, yeah, A4, you have a podcast, right? And I'm like, yeah, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, I have a question. If you had to describe the taste of candy corns, how would you describe it? I'm going to write heaven. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a real faggot. I'm going to write ghost jizz. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i retweet it so you can write that. If I don't know who this person is, I don't follow him. <laughs> I, I didn't get to tell this story yet because we didn't do an episode like two weeks ago. But uh, I saw I saw Karen in the wild. Oh, yeah, I was did, getting you, my hair did you did you fuck her? No, um, I was getting my hair cut. And... I was getting my hair did. No, I needed a haircut real bad, so I went to like Great Clips or whatever. And you gotta wear the mask when you're in. Like whatever, I don't care. Uh, some some bitch and her dopey son came in, and I, I guess like in the process of cutting this kid's hair, they like accidentally snipped the. Uh, they broke the fucking strap on his mask, one of his loops. Okay. And so this woman was like talking about like, well, now I got to go on Etsy and order another one. So she was demanding compensation. And, and the woman who was helping her was the woman who's giving me a haircut, by the way. So I'm just sitting in a chair like an asshole this whole time. <laughs> um, and she's like, well, yeah, you can go on like Etsy and buy it and then come back here and we'll, we'll compensate you and give us the receipt. And she's like, no, I want it now. So the whole fucking time this is happening because I'm not getting my hair did. Mm. What is happening? I just look at this woman dead in the eyes while cocking my fucking eyebrow, yeah. just the whole time. <laughs> Great eye contact, and I was waiting for this bitch to start something because it's that would have given me a perfect excuse to put my glasses back on and be like, "Oh wow, you are way too ugly to be talking to me. Get the fuck out of here." You should have just coughed in her mouth, dude. Um, uh. If I, I, I said to the lady when she came back and started cutting my hair again, I'm like, if I was more mean, I would have been like, actually, lady, you're now taking you are now taking away from my haircut. So I'll take the ten dollars they just gave you from you right now. You need to compensate me because you're wasting my fucking time. But I didn't do that. I wish I did. Oh, how I wish I did. I might have just because I don't want to. I'm starting to. Not that I want to start shit with people and I, I don't like confrontation. But if I'm sitting there and watching someone argue with, I'm going to say something i think yeah well me cocking me making direct eye contact she definitely saw me <laughs> cocking my eyebrow at her the whole time you should have started nice you should have went you should start rubbing your nipples <laughs> 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 and like licking your under lips the, under the barber uh bib that they put on yeah top of the you just see like two two vague shapes moving where my nipples are <laughs> under the under the cowl or whatever it is yeah yeah fucking funny um yeah, no, I, I'm I'm really I'm really getting so tired that I do actually want to start shit with people in public. It went like it, this hasn't happened yet, and I'm kind of hoping it does. It's like a dream scenario where like I don't wear the mask until I'm right about to walk into the grocery store. So if I'm walking from you know my car in the parking lot to the front entrance of the grocery store, I'm maskless, and I just I'm 
I'm begging for someone to just be like, oh, you're not wearing your mask. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the virus only affects gay people. No, so I, just, I, there's no excuse. I always, there's no excuse for you to not wear a mask. You're just gay. No, I mean, I wear it in the grocery store, but okay. I'm, I'm not wearing it from the grocery store to my car in the parking lot. Cause there's no, there's literally no risk. So, and the, and the virus, like I oh, said, yeah, you're a doctor now. The virus only affects gay people. So oh. I only wear the mask inside the grocery store because I have to, because they'll kick me out if I don't. But as soon as I leave the, as soon as I leave my house, I just put it on. Not, not for any real reason. Just so I, I just don't. Cause you're, a, Cause you're a sheep. I got it. It's yeah. Right. I'm a sheep. No, it's just because I figure if I put it on, then I won't touch my face until I get home. <laughs> That's all. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having like a real argument. I'm just making fun of you because like, I don't live my life that way, but. You, you live life on the edge. Uh, yeah, I guess I really am, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I really am living life on the edge right now. I went to a fucking field covered in playground sand with 400 other people who were basically not wearing masks. They're all sitting down and drinking or eating. So I guess I'll die in two weeks. No, you're not. Uh, you, you won't die. I know I won't. <laughs> I think we've had it long enough where if this was – if people have been acting so fucking stupid with this by not listening and not wearing masks, that if, if this was truly the death sentence that we were led to believe, that there would be nobody left on the fucking planet. Well, that's what I've been thinking this whole time. Look, I, I, I've, I've kept this stance the whole fucking time. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. I was a little worried about the virus when they first started locking everything down. I'm like, maybe this is a big deal. And then as the months waned on, I'm like, all right, this is a non-issue. I don't care. I'm not wearing the mask anywhere unless I absolutely have to because they're going to make me. And that's just how I've lived my life and I've been fine. But that's just, that's my choice because I'm a, I'm a rebel and I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just going to wear it. I, I don't, I'm just going to wear a mask because fuck it. The Japanese wear masks. So why should yeah, I? I don't, I don't blame you for wearing a mask. It's just not personally what I would do. I like, it's like I said when we met up at Complete and Box. It's like, look, I play by the rules. I don't like it, but I do it because I but just I don't. But I just don't. See. I don't see how it's a big deal because an entire culture has done it for decades. Oh, I just don't wear it. Oh, look, like I said, I wear it in the grocery store or wherever they need me to. Like I wear it at work, but you know, as soon as I'm out and about, like walking to my car or whatever, if I'm in the neighborhood, it's like, I'm not, I'm not doing this just to watch. Right, whatever. We're, we're turning into the mega 64 podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't even, just... I can't watch them anymore. Oh yeah. Well, because that's all they talk about. They don't like, they never, they never go out and do any more videos. So they just fucking, it, the conversation always basically also, steers. They're living in a fucking city. They need to move out to like Arizona, the middle of fucking nowhere. Well, the conversation is always, it's just, it seems to always steer towards, uh, Sean's crippling anxiety and I'm like fucking smoke some weed or go on some pills you fucking loser that's what he, that's that's why they pranked him in the Tony Hawk video because he fucking deserves it yeah Jesus Christ <laughs> that was great by the way yes. I, I watched that whole fucking thing and I'm like where's this going oh okay and then there's oh okay <laughs> yeah no that was good <laughs> oh let's prank Sean that was great I love that Fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm, I'm super fucking tired of talking about all this shit, too. I just want it to be over. That's why I'm glad that Trump is going to be totally fine in a couple days, and they're going to push everyone, instead of waiting for a vaccine, to just take whatever the fuck they gave him. But, like, that's the thing. It's like, what if he did die? <laughs> what would you do? Would you start wearing a mask? Uh, would you Would you just not suddenly become a seven-year-old? Because, I mean, <laughs> that's really who it well, affects. Well, if, if he died, I'd be like, well, he was like 80. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he was like 80, and I'm invincible, so I'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> I uh, like I don't even see that as being a possibility because either a this whole fucking thing is a lie that he got it oh, or yeah. b it's really just not that bad. He could, if Biden got it, I could see him dying because he's already like decrepit. Yeah, but Trump like as he is doesn't really seem that old to me or like all that in in bad health. No. So I just don't see it as a possibility. I, I, it would genuinely shock me if he died. Yeah, I don't think it would change my fucking tune on the virus. But mm. wow, damn! I thought for sure this was some weird psyop. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was all made just to kill Trump. I would be more. Yeah. No, I wanted to make a tweet so bad where it's like, yo. No matter, I don't care whether he dies or not, but it's good to know that COVID, the lockdown is about to be fucking over either way. 
Because either A, he lives and then everyone realizes this whole thing was not that big a deal, or he dies and the leftists just stop caring about the virus because they got what they wanted. Well, that's what I, I mean. That So I never really see anyone talking like I only ever see sides making fun of other sides. I never actually see a person saying something, right? But like it does seem to have flipped people where the people who refuse to wear masks are like, oh, well, the president got it. Maybe this is a big deal. And the left are like, <laughs> like, oh, he got it. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> when they, it's, it's like, oh, it's so sick. Uh, everyone's everyone's really been stupid this whole fucking time. I, I'm at least trying to stay consistent in my views throughout this whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, which is at the least, it's the least I can do. <laughs> is a lot that's going to change my. It would take a lot to change my mind on. I believe. I that, believe the least you could do is wear a mask. And I do. Yeah. In places that require me to. Okay. I'm not going to put a mask on to go to the drive thru at McDonald's. That's retarded. I'm fucking. Whatever. I don't care. I'm tired of talking about this. I'm just going to be a super spreader. Um... <laughs> no, I know. There's there's extremes on both ends. I don't think people who do, people who like just won't leave the house and they like. You know, it's like well, ah, I, draw, I, I might still draw a comic about that where it's it's like a dude wearing a mask indoors, covered in a blanket. His eyes are red from crying, and he's texting me, and he's just like, "Dude, I don't know what to do anymore. I can't leave my house. I'm running out of food and toilet paper. This is fucking insane." And it's just me at a at a party with like a banner that says, "Everyone touches the same object party," and it's me picking <laughs> my nose. I do that sucks. <laughs> I mean, like I still get a little like uh, there was a guy we went to Second and Charles, and Christina bought the biggest fucking Godzilla plushie I've ever seen in my life. And she's also, you know, dressed head to toe in Godzilla merch. <laughs> I mean, she is. I'm not even kidding. Her mask is a Godzilla oh, mask. So, cute. so, uh, but there was a guy in line who, uh, it was like, oh man, I love Godzilla and, and like broke the six foot rule <laughs> to talk no. to her. And I'm standing there going like, I didn't, wasn't going to say anything, but I, I was just thinking like, oh, get away. <laughs> at least, at least stay, at least, at least stay a few feet away from her. Jesus. I mean, if he actually got too close, I would have said something, but he was still yeah, like. I can totally understand it from your guys' point of view because she's got like the diabetic thing or whatever and you have celiac. So I get it. Yeah, He it's, was still, I mean, he was still like three feet away, three yeah. to four feet away. But if you got any closer right. than that, I've been like, whoa, bud. <laughs> I'm an invincible golden God and can't die. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, I came up I came up with the best thing in the PSN chat last night. I realized that one of the guys in our chat basically gave me the F slur pass. Not that I wouldn't have had it anyway. I would have <laughs> just beaten the gay guy and taken it. And I also have the N-word pass because of So now that I have the ability to say the N-word and the F slur, I'm basically like God. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing holding me back. You have to if you combine the two, you might destroy the planet. Yeah, exactly. I said it, it's like the it's like the two halves of the scarab from Aladdin. I put them <laughs> together and leave me the cave of wonders. <laughs> cool. And the cave of wonders comes out of the fucking uh, ground and he's like, What's up, my nigga? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, go, it's okay, nigga. I got that F card. I go in there to grab uh, some sort of treasure. I can't. I can't think of an analogy for this. But then um, my monkey friend tries to grab like this giant jewel that is the literal physical manifestation of the n-word and i'm like don't touch it and then he's gra- infidel do you ever watch a Tariq cartoon reviewer guy no i think that's his name he he reviewed uh brace face oh and there's this black character and it's like an early 2000s show and he there's this black character in the show in the cartoon that like literally does a monkey pose like he gets down on, like and put in like bends his fingers in like a, yeah like a, yeah like curls his arm like ooga booga yeah like, and i'm like <laughs> he, he's a black dude so he he went like he's like man i hate this nigga uh you know the character sucks and all this kind of stuff and he's like man he even got this nigga doing the monkey pose <laughs> and he did it and i, I <laughs> burst out laughing i was like oh my god <laughs> he's like See, I, just, I just wish people could be funny again well he makes That's- like he makes jokes about being woke and he'll call things out for being like sexist or racist but like it's never anything like outrageous like yeah, exactly. that character that black character doing the monkey pose kind of <laughs> racist if you yeah, think yeah. that way yeah otherwise you could just think of it as a kid doing a monkey pose and not see the color of his skin but i mean if you have any contextual if you if you have any context for how racism how racist people think they call black people monkeys yeah, it's so, not like calling out like Rugrats for having them playing pretend and wearing like Native American garb. It's like, all right, whatever. Like everyone. Yeah, no, this it. this black kid did a monkey pose in this show. 
Yeah, yeah. Within reason, I'm totally okay with woke people calling shit out. Yeah. Yeah. But he the reason why this 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 particular review is an hour long is that he had some woman on who I've never heard of. And she's Ugh. she's basically calling she said, "I don't know why early 2000s shows ha- had a problem with demonizing black kids." I was like, oh, "Okay, you're crazy. Fuck off. I don't know what you're talking about and you're nuts." Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Did you not watch As Told by Ginger where there was that black kid with the with the fucking headgear on and they made him like a normal person? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I didn't watch As Told by Ginger because I've never had my period, but he also covered that show, and it was always and it's actually because of a bet. He covered as told by Ginger and Braceface because he lost a bet. Ginger for more than five consecutive minutes starts to hurt your eyes. Uh, yeah, that show's ugly. I mean, Klasky Supo animation is ugly, but my god, that one is on a new fucking level. All you had to do was like move their their mouths down or faces down or something, and then they'd look normal. They're basically French. They don't know how to draw. Uh, it's not their. I get, dude, people on Twitter get so mad when I just say, like, yeah, French people don't know how to draw. Or, like, British people don't know how to draw. And they're like, hey, yo, I'm British. And I'm, yeah, whatever. You can't draw. Sorry. I just call it's him a cunt. <laughs> Some random British guy. I did, like, a, I was doing a ranking with, with uh, Caleb Schweiss, the, the host of Ultima Final Fantasy, where, like, we'd listen to uh, the first album of the big four of thrash and rank them against each other. And then the second and third, so on and so forth. And like, I got to the last few Metallica albums that came out and this random British guy, just, this is like a year and a half ago that I did this. And then this British kid, like this week comes in and he's just like, Oh man, hardwired to self-destruct more like shit wired. It's got terrible. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever you're British. Who fucking cares what you have to say? <laughs> I think he was just a big Megadeth fan because he had a Dave Mustaine Twitter avatar. Oh, God. Hello, me. Meet the real me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't listen to any of that garbage. You should listen to the song Sweating Bullets by Megadeth because that's that song and it's fucking hysterical how dumb it is. I'm sure. It's... Nice story. Tell it to Reader's Digest. The only music that like that that I listen to is Iron Maiden. Uh, yeah, that's, that's still like, that's like British heavy metal. It's not the same thing as thrash really. No. Um, I don't know. Oh, and apparently, uh, uh, apparently ELO is Prague. Not ELO. I I mean, I mean, Emerson Lake and Palmer has a, of course it is. I didn't know that. I never knew what Prague was. You listen to fucking Tarkus, that album. It's nuts. Is that the one with the, with the, uh, the tank and the, the, the armadillo. Tank. No, no. The, the album that I have is the one with. I can't remember. His, I can't remember. The, I can't think of the guy's name now. The guy who drew Alien for Alien. Oh, uh, Giger. Yeah, Giger. yeah, yeah. It's the uh, Giger album. I, I don't know what that is. I don't remember the name of it. But yeah, they're definitely a prog band for sure. No, I know what prog is. Yeah. I like that album, but I can't listen you to like, it. You like Yes? Because Yes is also prog. Well, then prog could be whatever, then, huh? No, prog. Prog, I guess. I guess yeah, Prague could just be shorthanded to any kind of rock or metal that is like weird, not yeah, it, weird or just not regular ass mainstream like hard rock or alternative. You know mm. what I mean? But like usually Prague, in the strictest sense, is like stuff with weird ass time signatures or like really long songs with like sweeping different fucking movements to them. Where like you see the track list and it looks like it's three songs, but like each of those three songs has like five separate tracks within it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I like prog rock a lot, so. Well, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know anything about you it. You should look at Marcus. It's very interesting. No. By, um, by Um, There's also, oh. I think it's called, I think it's called Trilogy? Or it's the one with like their three faces on the cover. I forget what that album's called. Oh, I have that one too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then give some yeses shit a fucking a listen. I, that's the thing. Like, I can't, I can't give these albums repeat listens. Yeah, because they're so weird. I guess, yeah, but that's just that's what I find so interesting about it. I mean, like, there's definitely some some more mainstream prog that's a lot easier to intake. Like, I think the album Nine O One Two Five by Yes, the one with Owner of a Lonely Heart, like that's prog, but it's also like prog that's very pop centric and very like radio friendly for the most part. Oh, okay. So I, I think it's a lot more easily digestible than say Tarkus or. I'm trying to think of other like older prog rock bands from like the seventies and eighties that you might have heard of, because like a lot of the stuff that I listen to is more modern shit, like Dream Theater or a lot of the weird like technical death metal shit that's been coming out. 
like between the buried and me or fucking protest the hero whatnot but i don't know i've always found Prague very fucking interesting there's some good shit in there but i don't expect you to listen to us an album by a band like that in one sitting because usually it's like a very long sort of uh like you have to really be in it to get it otherwise just listen to the singles that come out like i wouldn't expect you to listen to an entire tool album Whereas if you just listen to like one or two songs that everyone likes by tool, then yeah, I get it. Yeah. I'm glad of this. Especially I'm glad of the vertical splits is a new meme. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to draw one for someone who apparently doesn't have access to a computer right now, but hopefully that will come up pretty good. I like the vertical split thing. I will. I should probably draw Moxie doing that. Honestly. I was sharing a lot of them, retweeting a lot of them. And I was like, wait, is this a thing? And <laughs> cause I was oh, yeah, like, why? Yeah. yeah. I, I love I love the I love the fucking Japanese art memes that come out where it's just like here's a or like the reverse bunny suit or yeah. or the vertical split thing, or I guess it's just one where it's like a girl that's fully clothed and she's just holding up her underwear. <laughs> I don't know. I like that stuff. Japan's pretty Japan's pretty based, if <laughs> I'm so brave to say. Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. God damn. <laughs> you should listen to Dream Theater. I've heard some Dream Theater. I think Christina likes them. I don't really care. Yeah. You should listen to some of their more like bigger hits. I think you might actually appreciate do, 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 it. Do <laughs> What the fuck is that? Isn't wasn't a Dream Theater song used for that meme from Forever the YTMNT D meme of uh, the guy uh Star Trek when he's doing the uh roll underneath the door? You're going to have to send me that because I don't know what the fuck that meme is. I, I never got too into You're the Man, Not Dog, unfortunately. Too young? I'm not too young. I was of the time. It's just I never really went on that site a lot. Too send old. me that thing real quick. See if that's the song. I don't... God, okay. Uh, I, I think it's Epic epic Roll. Okay, hold on. I'm looking for it. Internet movie. No, not internet movie. <laughs> what? YTMND. Epic Maneuver? Yeah, that's it. Epic Geordie... Uh, Ge- uh, let's Jordy see. Maneuver. Uh, rolling Beneath an Isolation Door. The Middle of the Nightwish song Ghost Love Score. It's Nightwish, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's... Dun, 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 yeah, that's right? what I did. I went... Dun, 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 Yeah, but you were like, do-do-do-do-do, which makes me think of... It doesn't make me think of, like, an orchestra playing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh wait, no, Nightwish that that's also... that's SpongeBob. <laughs> Night, Nightwish is more like symphonic power metal, if yeah. anything. Uh Dream Theater is just more like I don't think there's anything that Dream Theater's ever been a part of that's a meme, really. Oh, Nightwish and Dream Theater are two different things? Yes. Oh, okay. Night Nightwish is like a symphonic power metal band with a female vocalist. Dream Theater is like a like a prog rock kind of thrashy kind of band almost. Like they have some heavier songs. Um and like they don't get into a lot of shit. Like the, I don't even think you would have played the Guitar Hero games they were in. Their their song "Pull Me Under" was the credit song for Guitar Hero Four, but I don't think you even played that one. No, no, I did not. No. So, what the fuck was that? My 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 throat's a little sore. Oh, I thought Christina just leaned in. And fucking... No, I have the Rona. No, I guess um, the uh, the acid reflux gave me kind of a sore throat. And at the very least, you'd probably appreciate Dream Theater's like first album because it's very '80s sounding. Mm. I like it a lot, anyway. No, <laughs> no. You got anything else? Not really? Okay. I don't think I think I'm all talked out. I'm getting hungry anyway. <laughs> so what's this banner entitled? Are we gonna do the the Vinky? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really even know the meme. I could do it. Yeah, but I don't really. You I, should I just do like, it anyway. Just draw us as them just for just so I can send it to that guy. But but everyone's also mad that I'm drawing us as hot girls. So what if I drew us as VTubers? Why are they mad? They're mad? Well, because they're getting horny by my Oh. <laughs> my drew us as well with them fucking. Um, well, did, did you do any uh, show notes? Yeah. Can I just All go, go live through English. Stand-up comedy, The Mandalorian, Prestige TV episode lengths, High Score, the Netflix documentary, Gatekeeping, Minecraft Steve, Halloween, Battletoads 2020, Beat 'em Ups, Mitch Sala, Karen in the Wild, Chinese Virus, and Prog Rock. Uh, the person who asked us to do this is the guy, my dudes. I think 
I don't know who that is. That might be Everett's friend. Like, there's Everett and there's Everett's friend that I actually know both their names. I feel really bad. Um, because they always change their fucking names. No, I know. That's I why. I was like, isn't that twerking for KFC? I might be him. I yeah. forget. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I can do the Da Vinci thing if you want. Please, because I just want to send it to him just specifically. <laughs> what are we What are we saying instead of Da Vinci? And then, wait. Oh, stinky. Oh, dis- just stinky. Dis- <laughs> <laughs> well, we should, we should. Yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> it, let me look up Da Vinci to make sure that I have like a meme to reference. Because oh, see- wait, wait, wait. Can we we can do the VTuber thing, but. Uh, can we can we be doing the the Da Vinci face? What is the Da Vinci face? <laughs> they just look like dummies. <laughs> is it just them smiling? <laughs> yeah, I guess that it wouldn't work. Well, could we be Da Vinci the Da Vinci twins like something that the VTubers are watching or something? Uh, no, we're looking at um, we're looking at one of the VTubers and we're saying Da Vinci. <laughs> Mm. No, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Come up, huh? I, I just blasted ass. <laughs> oh, sweet, stinky, the stinky. <laughs> there's a way to the way to roll the Da Vinci thing and VTubers together along with. There's a way to do this. I don't know how it is. How about, how about some VTubers feet? Oh. <laughs> We're both looking yeah, at going stinky. Nina May Ina Nis's feet. That's yeah, the the, the 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 squid girl's feet. That'll work. Oh god! And then I can tweet it at her. <laughs> <laughs> you should. That's a great idea. Okay. All right. Let me see if I got this straight. But what is the title? The stinky. Who painted? The- uh, yeah. Here, here's the. Uh... Here's the video of them. The Mona Lisa. Yeah, Mona Lisa. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. The stinky. Da Vinci? And that are the Da Vinci guys <laughs> looking at Nina, Nino, May, Nina, Mrs. Feet. <laughs> yeah, All right, bros. I'll... The title of the show. Okay. Awesome. What the fuck? Dude? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Da Vinci? I remember the first time I saw those guys, I thought they were legit retarded. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is the war? Well, they are. Who are you to... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe it's not a shtick. They just they're just retarded wrestlers. Yeah. You're this is implying that all wrestlers aren't already retarded. Mm. All right, cool. I'm going to draw that at some point. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll stop recording at some point. I hate that I have to draw her feet. <laughs>